Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're gonna start getting ready to move all solar panels. We got those eight that we need to move just so we've been talking about, like so we can start our, our greenhouse section on this side here. Um, well, grow area, basically. So we need to move those panels first. But as you can see, we're putting down the unit strut, getting it laid out, how we're gonna do it. Uh, take, take this one back out. But uh, we're using washers, the fender washers and the, the roofing screws, but I'm gonna put silicone on them before I put them in. So like down in the hole right there, silicone it just like that. And then put it back. So that way, like, like I said before, I don't care if it leaks or not, you know what I mean? But I prefer it don't leak a lot. So hopefully this will keep it from just absolutely pouring the rain in. The panel will be on top of it. Just like that. See, that's going absolutely nowhere. Uh, we got one row of units strut down. We're only going to put two rows because there's gonna be single and they're gonna be doubled up like that it's gonna be a single roll down through here we got both rails down uh, that's 30 feet of rail we have some more but that's all we're gonna put down right now that'll, that'll hold nine panels and we're only gonna move eight uh, we're gonna get we got them rails down we got these unhooked so now we're gonna take them off the rack and put them up on the front the rails and see if we can get them working again took eight of the solar panels down. They're not back, hooked back up yet. They're still setting up fire. We gotta bolt them to the roof. We had to go back and get bolts again. But as you can see, we're eight solar panels down and we're still putting 39 amps into the batteries. Which is pretty good on a kind of a, it's sunny, but not real bad. Not real good sunny. It's kind of a, kind of cloudy-ish outside. So that's still pretty good. Gray 
the gray pipe up to those eight panels. It was just laid across the driveway. We never buried it because we knew we was going to be moving it. Twisty, twisty. Yep. Around in here, I've got to jump around the jumper wire from this side to this side. That way it energizes all of them. I need this hot Oh, baby. What's the matter with your baby? I want you to swing his baby. Say. This is just temporary. Top of the battery box here isn't very organized. I am a civil say. engineer. Are you? I'm not a maid. Oh. Where'd you get your qualifications for civil engineer? Frog level. Oh, well, that explains it. <laughs> Frog level tech. Alright. Right now we have 140 volts off of these four panels. It was 147 volts, something like that, because I, I got it toward the uh, the midnight solar can handle up to 150 volts, so I've got a series up to that. So let's go down here and see what it's doing down here. Now, I'll we'll turn that breaker on and fry my midnight. We need to see what kind of juice. 140 volts, it's right there. 139, 440 volts. Okay, now we are producing power off the four panels. I'm gonna, let me flip these other four on. Okay, that's all of them like it was. Back on. Smooth. I'm making them up. Three or four amps off of it and it's cloudy, so that's pretty good. That well that's only eight panels because we can hook the other four up, we don't have enough wire. I gotta buy some wire to run the other four over to the combiner box. Alrighty guys, eight panels. Uh that were right there and all that crap, we're still taking all that apart. That's the old rack I had built and this lasted for what five or six years like that, I guess. But anyway, we're gonna finish taking all that down. But uh, there's the eight panels that was on it right there. They're going to be hooked in four in series, four in series, and two in parallel. If you notice right here, there's a small solar panel. That's the one that goes, uh, I cut a piece of this uh, 
uh, unistrut just enough to mount this um, we have enough room probably to mount a couple other things here if we want but whatever uh, so those I've got four of those hooked up and the other four are not hooked up because I don't have enough wire to run down there so we'll go over that in a minute but this thing right here this little solar panel here I've got to, I got to do a little bit more wire management with it but uh, I'll put the, something on that to keep it from being exposed to the sun but what that does is it runs down into this switch right here okay that is going to run can't really see it but there's a fan over there in that chicken house there's a fan that runs off of the solar panel so like in the winter time or summertime i can just kick it on and leave it on all the time winter time when i don't want it on i can just kill it and not have to unhook anything i just kill the power to it uh but anyway um, that's where we're at with that. And that's gonna work out pretty good right there. Yeah, it's gonna be in the dry and all that. So, okay, what we have is we have four panels right now running down, and I got to do uh, this. This right here, I'm gonna redo this. I got some uh, that flexible conduit. That I'm gonna run up through here and put all the wires in, it, especially around the metal right here. But right now, I just got them temporary up. So, um, here's a. Uh, a QO load center. Um, I got four panels around here, which is 147 volts. And these things are rated for AC and DC, just so you know, so nobody don't freak out. Um, and as you know, solar is DC power and house current is AC power. Uh, well, unless you got it wired for DC, I guess, like a car battery or something. But anyway, um, this is the wire. It's the same wire it run down um, from the other array down before we moved it same wire we just rerouted it. it goes down and it goes with the yellow one all the way down then up on the house uh we're going to go back the reason i haven't buried the yellow one yet is because i want i know i was going to be putting this one over here and that that'll be plenty for everything we do now so um unless we add one more if i do i can add one piece of conduit and just be done with it and bury it and then run wire through the conduit but anyway that's where we're at right now i gotta put this back together pick up all my toes because it's getting ready to rain as you can see oh. Oh, Good job. Good job.